graduated college a few years ago. And that's a word that's in the language that the indigenous people in the area speak. They're the ones that are really, really in danger. So they're really high risk of going into state. And if they live in these tiny little isolated places like this, it's really hard for them to leave, to go find new families and new food. So that's one of the things that we do is work with them when they live in these, you can almost think of it as kind of like an island. They live in the trees. So in order for them to get to another area of the forest, they have to come down to meet across fields. And they know their personalities. They know like who Isak's mom is and who his sisters and brothers are. So we're able to really get a lot of information that helps us protect the monkey. And it's just really, really cool. With the um, power monkeys, what, what, what does it mean when they howl? When they howl? Oh, that's a really good question. So they do that so that other groups know where they are. So. They kind of have like territory in the forest where they have like the foods that they really like that they want to make sure they get to keep eating. So one group will be over here and then Powell. I started off working in Nicaragua and I learned Spanish in school. So then I learned some French or when I started working in Brazil, I had to learn Portuguese in order to go down there. It's really important. Anytime you go to another country, it's important to be able to talk to people, you know? And then we take, we make sure we take all of our trash, even if it's something like a banana peel that could disintegrate, we have to take it and make sure we take it out of the forest because it's really, I mean, obviously, like, littering is just something you should never do. And then the monkeys can also get sick from people. I go to Brazil during the summer for a little bit of time. And then when I go to do a really long-term project, I'll go for, like, a year. And I'll live down there for a year. And every day, I take one day off a week. I usually would take off Saturday or Sunday to rest. But then every other day, I'd be out from before the sun rises until after the sun sets to follow the monkeys. Same. Bananas don't grow in the wild where I work. Um, most they eat figs. They eat a lot of figs. Mostly the, the monkeys that I study, they eat a lot of leaves. They just eat leaves off of the trees. And they actually have these, like, see, you saw it a little bit, he has this really big fat belly. And that's because they have to have a lot of room for all the leaves that they eat to get digested. Um, but then they'll eat like some wild fruits. Really, one of the one of the biggest things that we do is help plant trees to reconnect little islands. So it's almost, you can think about it like building a bridge between two islands of the forest so that they can get to where they need to go as they grow up. It's just a big project. That's all I'm doing right now. It's a big project. You got to do all the same planning. You got to make a whole lot of backup plans because usually the first plan doesn't actually work out the way you want it to. 